investors in the U.S. about their new micro drones that are about to hit the market. Micro air vehicles, or MAVs, will play an important role in future warfare. The urban battlefield calls for tools to increase the warfighter's situational awareness and capacity to engage rapidly, precisely, and with minimal collateral damage. MAVs will be integrated into future Air Force layered sensing systems. These systems may be airdropped or hand launched depending on the mission requirements. I'm sorry, did that plane just shoot out a bunch of little tiny drones? Terrifying, <laughs> really terrifying. So these micro air vehicles or MAVs are designed to deal with urban battlefields with rapid precision. The question is what urban battles are military fighting that they need this kind of creepy technology? And forget about shooting these things down, they're about this big. The small size of MAVs allows them to be hidden in plain sight. Once in place, an MAV can enter a low-powered extended surveillance mode for missions lasting days or weeks. This may require the MAV to harvest energy from environmental sources, such as sunlight or wind, or from man-made sources, such as power lines and vibrating machinery. Hidden in plain sight on missions that could last weeks? Powered by the sun or power lines? And did you see that little Terminator-looking pigeon? My God! Orwell would be rolling in his grave if he could see the absurdly dystopic reality we're about to be living in. But their small size is not just to linger undetected outdoors. It's also to gain access inside. Small size and agile flight will enable MAVs to covertly enter locations inaccessible by traditional means of aerial surveillance. Multiple MAVs, each equipped with small sensors, will work together to survey a large area. Information from these sensors will be combined, providing this swarm of MAVs with a big picture point of view. Hmm, maybe these places are not conducive to traditional surveillance methods because it's supposed to be illegal to surveil people's homes without a warrant. And also, how frightening is it to think of a swarm of these little robots coming at you in a dark hallway? Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, they see all. They communicate together, offering this big picture image to whoever's sitting on the other end of the screen. Can anyone say Minority Report? Because this is literally what this country's turning into. And if that isn't chilling enough, sit tight, because it's about to get worse. While some MAVs may be used purely for visual reconnaissance, others may be used for targeting or tagging of sensitive locations. Individual MAVs may perform direct attack missions and can be equipped with incapacitating chemicals, combustible payloads, or even explosives for precision targeting capability. Wow. So if the surveillance fails, then these mini robots can and will set off explosives, chemical agents, and even assassinate human beings. At whose direction? Obama? The same person who has targeted the execution of a 16-year-old without due process? Gee, that's comforting. But doesn't it make you feel safer knowing that this technology will soon be in the hands of our military and defense contractors? The same defense contractors that rape and kill with impunity? But will these MAVs really be used everywhere in the future of warfare? MAVs will become a vital element in the ever-changing warfighting environment and will help ensure success on the battlefield of the future. Unobtrusive, pervasive, lethal, micro-air vehicles, enhancing the capabilities of the future warfighter. Unobtrusive, pervasive, and lethal. So, welcome to the brave new world, kids, and watch out for bugs, because the next time you try to kill a fly, it might kill you first.